Well, for us it's extremely important because three of our team members um, have, have dementia. So when uh, they, uh, our, our Simon Society came to us and said, will we be interested in, in be involved in the campaign to unite people against dementia, we uh, did say yes quite straight away. Uh, yes, I had, I had a brother that, uh, that died of uh, Alzheimer's and uh, it, was, it was terrible to, uh, to see him just get worse and worse as the years went by. Uh, well, I still uh, just have the treatment every two weeks. I go to the hospital, have the treatment, and uh, I just sort of... I feel more or less the same, to be honest. I, I don't feel anything wrong with me at all uh, at the moment. Um, I have a scan every few months, and that uh, hopefully is getting smaller. So last May, um, we wanted to get as many of the uh, team together. And although Martin had already at that stage been diagnosed, I think he was diagnosed in 2013, uh, we spoke to his wife and we felt it was it's our 50th anniversary last year. So uh, we managed, Kath managed to bring Martin along, so it was the last time we, we saw him. And by that stage, of course, he, he'd been deteriorating, um, so it was quite difficult to see one of your teammates um, close up. I'm personally as close, uh, not a family member, but Martin Peters, we go back and our wives since we were teenagers so our wives still speak today um, almost daily it seems so I, I'm hearing via the, those conversations um, what it is like uh, for Cathy to be you know, living with her husband who has this terrible disease so um, and so that, that's motivated me to, to want to get involved in this campaign I don't think it's something you, you think about I, I, I look at our particular team and, and three have dementia and I, I always say it's for uh, older people, it's almost like a lottery to an extent. Um, who, who will have an ailment, who will get a disease, who, who will fall ill. I think it's, it's not something I really think about uh, for, m for myself, uh, to be honest with you. Just carry on living your life and hopefully that uh, you, you're okay. So I don't, I don't have any fears for that. But I do uh, have a great deal of sympathy for, with people who are living with people in the family that have dementia. But with dementia, you know that it's only going to go one way. And it's, it's not going to get any better, it's only going to deteriorate. That makes it a, a, a major difference in many respects. And uh, it's quoting the people, it's a million, it's 850,000 now, a million in, in the next uh, number of years. And every three minutes somebody gets diagnosed. Same as Jeff says about, about the, the 66 lads, you know. We had such wonderful moments with these 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 lads, you know, that have got uh, dementia. Uh, all the time, as we we had jokes with them and a laugh and a drink and and uh, just you know wonderful wonderful memories. And uh, to think of them now, like they are now, they 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 they, they, don't, they can't even remember us. And uh, it's just it's just so sad now. It really is. One of the important ingredients of winning the World Cup is the camaraderie, the team spirit, the togetherness, yeah. Yeah. which we had then. And that's why today's you know, discussion makes it all, all the more difficult when you go back 50 odd years with, with these uh, our colleagues, that togetherness and the dressing room banter. I'll never forget it. Good try. Though. Good, thank you. Thank, you. thank you for your sympathy. Oh, no. kind of you. Thank you very much. No. And I might you talk about how they say it. Good. 27. <laughs> Don't be nosy. I you know it. I thought you were fantastic, saying You look absolutely immaculate today, Banksy. I think you look just wonderful. Oh, sorry, wonderful. Sorry, sorry. <laughs>